Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how you can create your SQLite database and connect it to your Java GUI application. So I have shown you how to create a database and how to connect uh, this database to your Eclipse Web Builder GUI application, right? So we have tested our connection like this so whenever we run the program it shows connection successful that means the connection with the database is successful okay and it opens the login page but in this login frame we haven't uh, uh, i mean we haven't inserted any tools or components here so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a login page uh, which checks the username and uh, and password from the database so it validates uh, username and password from the database and if uh, this, that username and password is correct then it will give you some message if it's uh, correct or not so let's get started first of all i will just make this uh, uh, window a little bit bigger by double clicking this login dot java and we have some space to work with now right so what i'm going to do is i will just uh, resize this a little and i'm going to take this absolute layout and i will just place it on this login panel and i will take two labels label one and label two so once again label two okay so i have taken these two labels and then i will take the text box text box one and text box two okay so i have two labels and two text boxes and i will take a button which we whenever user clicks he will be able to log in so take a button once again take a button here and now i will change uh, the names of these labels or variable name or i will leave these names uh, for the label as it is so you know how to change the name but a variable name but i will change the text of these uh, labels as uh, first is username it should be username and the second label text will be why it goes to the so first label text will be username and the second label Next will be password right and then what I'm going to do is I remember one thing whenever you use uh, or enter any username and password the password is always hidden it should be hidden right otherwise uh, the uh, other users can see your password and there is no meaning of password right so i will delete this uh, text box because it will show my password to the other user and what i can use is this password tool so this there is a tool called j password field and this tool we specifically use for password so just click this and just leave it on your frame and this we use for entering the password okay so i will resize this as here and this we will use for entering the password and properties of this password you can see here just click this password field and you will be able to see that echo care and you can change this echo care to any uh, character and this will be or your password will be marked masked with this character 
so you can uh, use dollar sign here or you can use hash or any other character and it will mask this character will mask all your your password so we have done that and i will change the uh, variable name of these text field for username text field, text field u n for example and for password this text field i will name it as password field so it's the name already uh, suggests that it's a password field so i will not change the name of the field but yeah this i will change the text of this button as um, login and i will change the name of this uh, button as btn login okay so now we have uh, this and maybe you can resize it so that you can see username and password and you can you know play with the properties for this okay and now what i'm going to do is <coughs> i will select this login button right click it add event handler action perform action perform and this will lead me to the this uh, login button action perform method right and inside this method i'm going to write a code to check the login or uh, username and password right so first of all i will just make a try and catch block so if any error occurs it will catch the error so i will just copy the previous code for try catch and i will paste it in action perform method and i will remove all the other code other than my try catch blocks so i have this try catch block so if any error will occur it will catch the any exception okay now in this try block first uh, thing i will do is i will create a query with the database if you remember in the last video in this login dot java we have uh, initialized our connection by our sklite connection dot db connector function so we have this connection with the database in this object which is called connection which we have created where we have created this connection let's see so this is the connection we have created right so this is the object of connection uh, which is a java dot sql class uh, connection and so if you don't uh, recognize this just watch the last video once again okay so i'm going to use this connection once again but yeah now to the button click event or action perform event of this login button in this try block first of all what i need to do is i need to prepare a query which i want to pass to the database so i will prepare a query which is a string variable string i will name it as query itself is equal to and in the double quotes and the semicolon i will write the query so what is the query i'm going to pass select asterisk or select asterisk means select all from the database table name so my table name here is employee info this i have shown you in the last video uh, the table name and how to create a database right so select star or asterisk from your table name and then we will write a where clause so just write where your username so what is the name of username just as username and password right so where username username by the way sklite is a non case sensitive language so whatever query you are passing it can be in upper case or lower case but java is a case sensitive language so you cannot uh, play with these uh, objects and variables but yeah whenever you pass the query whenever you are building the query you can use uppercase or lowercase depending upon your priority so 
select all from your uh, table name where username is equal to question mark and password is equal to is equal to also question mark okay so this is my query now i need to make a prepared statement from this query so what i will do i will write prepared statement if the spelling is correct i don't think it's correct let me see if okay so we will go further is equal to then what i need to do here i need to pass the query to the prepared statement right so i will uh, make a object of this prepared statement i will name it as pst for prepared statement okay and then i will write connection which is my object which i have created in the last video which is connection object this one connection connection is equal to null right so prepared statement pst is equal to connection dot prepared statement and it takes my query so you see here it takes the query so i'll write query and this is the query i'm passing here so i'm passing the query to the prepared statement then i will prepare a result set but before that with this prepared statement i want to pass the values from the text boxes which uh, the user will enter to the prepared statement so i will write pst dot set string this will be set string and this will take two argument the first argument will be the parameter index so parameter index is what because we are using two question mark the index parameter index of username is 0 and parameter index of password is 1 right so the index start from 0 and whatever number of uh, question mark here you have uh, that uh, much index we will have so the first question mark we will have the zero index and this and the second argument for uh, this pst set string is the value which you are getting from the text boxes so go to the design view unable to okay so i will for now i will take this uh, name which is uh, text field un and i will get the text so i will write dot get text okay in the same way i will just use pst get text for the password okay so pst dot set string and the index will be now 1 0 index for username index 1 for password right and the username or password field name is this one password field dot get text and as soon as you uh, see here get text it it's it has the line above get text that means it will not get text it will mask your uh, password field by the mask you see get text from the password field is deprecated okay so I I don't uh, right now. Let's see. Um, I will uh, use it as as it is. If it shows me any error, I will use some other method. For now, I will use like this only. Okay. So now I have uh, these uh, values in my query. Now I want a result set, right? So I will write. result set i will name it as uh, rs is equal to and then re this result set will execute my query okay so what i can do pst which is my prepared statement this is the statement i prepared dot execute query whatever I, uh, query i pass in that statement i want to execute that query okay 
so now whenever i execute this query this query will be executed and the result will be transferred to this rs object okay so in the next line what i'm going to do i will make a while loop because this rs object uh, gives the value one by one so i will use while and i will 